Some horse you got there, mister. Yes, sir, you can say that again. You just ran a dead heat against Miss Glory. Who are you riding? Trigger. He'll give any of them a good run for their money. So you're Miss Glory. Heard a lot about you. Seen your race, too. Okay, Willie, cool her out. Yes, sir. She's the one I want you to take to Monterey. We'll take good care of her. I'm taking quite a few horses to Mexico. Your horse will have good competition there. I'm not sending her to Mexico to race. I've sold her. Well, she's the best horse you have in your stable. Yeah, I know it. I could race her again this year, but what if she pulled up lame? Then I couldn't sell her. So I'm faced with keeping her or this ranch. I'm sorry to hear that. My dad would turn over in his grave if he knew I was letting her go. For my part, I think I'd rather give up the ranch. We have eight dependent families living here. Some of them were with my dad before I was born. Some of them are just old racing people that needed a home. <laughs> yeah, I know. Your dad's heart was too big for his pocketbook. I've seen him buy some old, broken-down race horses just to keep them from being destroyed. <laughs> you know I still have 30 of them here in pasture. Is that right? Yeah. Here comes my rig now. Hi. Hi, Pat. This is Miss Stewart, Pat How Brady. How do you Hi. do? Where's Pinky? In here. Help! Get me out of here! Roy! Roy, get me out of here, please. No wonder you can't get out. Oh, I'm stuck up there for miles and miles. Oh, I can't move. That I, oh, what a position I'm in here. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. They're going to call me Pinky the Pretzel. Get a hold of that in. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, look at this. Oh, quit your kidding. <laughs> Now what's the matter? This time I'm not kidding, Roy. My underwear's all bunched up. Will you get out of here? All right, but you'll be shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Roy, you know my trainer, Dave Nari. Sure. Hi, you, Dave. How are you, Roy? Do you mind if I use some of your boys for a little while? Help yourself. Hey, fellas, unload the horses and give them a walk around the track. Pinky, you take trigger. What's the matter with you? Why are you breathing so heavy, huh? <laughs> oh! Good. Mr. Rogers, I'll take my baby. All right. Can I help? Yeah, you sure can, Dave. Get the station wagon. I want to go as far as the border with them to see that they get through customs. Right. Don't be nervous, baby. I know what you want. My home is over yonder. My home is over yonder. I'd like to stay in May someday, but now I'm heading yonder. Now a cowboy, he gets born someplace, and somewhere else he dies. But in between, he's bound to roam, no matter how he tries. So he may plan to settle down and raise a herd someday. There's not a fence can hold him in when he begins to say, My home is over yonder. My home is over yonder. I'd like to stay in a May someday, but now I'm heading yonder. I feel the urge to wander, to wander and to wonder. 
I'll sleep tonight beneath the pale moonlight. My home is over yonder, yonder. Well, I bought a shack down Texas way to stake a claim up north. I nearly run myself to death, a chasing back and forth. Just now and then I tell some gal that she's the one for me. That I'll be waiting for her and to write me RFD. My home is over yonder. My home is over yonder. I'd like to stay and I may someday, but now I'm getting younger. I feel the urge to wander, to wander and to wander. I'll sleep tonight beneath the pale moonlight. My home is over yonder. My home is over yonder. Yonder. Buenos dias, Miss Stewart. Hello. Senor Rogers. Hi, Captain. We're heading for Monterey. I think you'll find everything in order. Here, Pinky may leave. Okay. There's a truck. You better get moving. I'll see you later. When do we get our money for helping you? As soon as we get all the horses and Rogers taken care of. I want to see Dave make sure everything's all clear. Joseph. I heard what you said about stealing the horses. It's dangerous. Someone might get killed. That's right, and it means lots of money for us. You can't do it, Joseph. Our people have always been honest, peaceful, and happy. Well, let go of it. No. Look. Death and dishonor. Don't you understand? It also means riches and jewels and fine clothes for you. I won't let you do it, Joseph. Oh, pardon me. You are one of the Americanos with Roy Rogers, no? Well, as long as you put it that way, yes. You must bring this Roy Rogers to me at once. At once, do you hear? It is a matter of life and death. Please, please, hurry, go. And who shall I say wants to see him? Rosina. Yes, ma'am. Hi, Studsy. How about that broken down mare of yours that looks like Miss Glory? You mean glad, girl? Don't worry. I took over the gypsy camp just like we planned. Everything all set? How'd you make out with the gypsy? Okay, but it's gonna cost us. I expected that, but whatever it is, it'll be worth it. I'll see you at the camp tomorrow. Right. Roy! Roy, Roy, you gotta come with me. A beautiful gypsy girl. She's a fortune teller. Her name is Rosina. She, she said you gotta come. It's a matter of life and death. Oh, boy, she's a beautiful gypsy girl. She must be a well the way you describe her. Yeah, I'm not describing her. She lives in tent number eight. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go, Senor Rogers? There's nothing more for you to do here. Besides, it will take me a little while to finish this inspection. Come on, Roy. She says she gotta tell your fortune. Come on, will you? <laughs> Would you like to get your fortune told? Oh, I can't wait. Come in, Senor Rogers. Oh, this is Miss Stewart, and this is Roy Rogers. Sit down, please. You better sit down, do she says. I am occult and have the gift of second sight. You don't understand these things, but I have to tell that I felt an ill omen when you drove here. And for 50 cents, you're going to tell me all about it, huh? I see violence and danger. It is the Black Knight. That is death. This isn't funny, Roy. Tell her to quit. I beg you not to go on this journey you have started. Go back before it's too late. If you defy my warning, you will surely die. Well, that's quite a fortune. Doris, how about you? Don't be silly. Let's get out of here. Senor Rogers, wait! 
I, I beg your pardon. I... Sit down. I want to tell you your fortune. Yeah, but I already know my fortune. It's bad because I'm always with Roy. I see violence and danger for you, too. <laughs> That's bad news. <laughs> I beg you, make the senor heed what is written in the cards. You must go now. May you travel under a lucky star. Hi, sweet. This is the first time you and I have ever been parted. But if I never see you anymore, I'll never forget you. But I'll be reading about you in the newspapers. Every time you go to the post, baby, my heart will be there. Where's Doris? Oh, she's in the van with the horses. <coughs> well, sounds like I ought to either take her back to the ranch or take you with us. Oh, I'm afraid it wouldn't work out that way, Roy. Don't let anything happen to her. She's awful valuable cargo. When you deliver, they'll give you a $50,000 draft. Send it to me right away, will you? Sure thing. Willie, you see she gets her oats every day, and you keep her warm, you hear me? Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. This is my baby. <laughs> Close it up, Pat. Back to Caliente. Pinky? Yeah. See if you can catch that loose horse and try to find a farmhouse with a phone in it. Okay. Oh, it's you, Mr. Sturzy. Willie, what are you doing here? Take care of Miss Gloria. What do you think? Get out of there, Willie. I know them horses. Oh, no, you don't. I promised Miss Doss I was going to take care of my baby. And that's what I'm going to do. Thank <laughs> you. 
release the brakes of that truck. Outrageous thing I ever heard of. What kind of protection are you police? Calm me yourself, Miss Stewart. Please sit down. No, thank you. I'll straighten this out if it's a lie. I'm last sure thing I we ever will do. get your horse back. Yes, I'm sure you'll get Willie back, too. I'm sorry about everything that's happened. Oh, to it's us. you. And after everything you promised Getting me, Getting excited will not help stable. matters, Miss Stewart. Sit down, please. There is much more to this crime than your stolen horses. For instance, why should they have killed Willie? Well, I don't think they had any choice. He must have recognized them and they were forced to. That's a very reasonable explanation, Roy. I can't think of any motive for the robbery. If I had any enemies, I'd say they were trying to put me out of business. But what does one do with stolen racehorses? Nothing. You can't race them without papers. And as you know, they tattoo their registration number under their upper lip. Get me the United States Sheriff and the Border Patrol, please. Yes. I don't know what to say, Doris. I realize what the loss of Miss Gloria means to you. And Willie, too. Willie was born and raised on our ranch. He was Dad's favorite. And mine, too. Yeah, I know. I blame myself for everything that's happened. But I'm gonna get those horses back. I'm really in a spot. You see, when I started my transport business, my sales point was comfort, care, and safety to the horses. Looks like I've let everybody down. Well, I guess we should have listened to that gypsy fortune teller. Fortune teller. Captain, I think we've got our first lead. Oh? You remember when Pinky took us to the fortune teller? Yes. Well, she told us everything that's happened. Come on. Hey, Roy, where are you going? We're going to find out about our future for Rosina. Well, how do you like that? The gypsy cat was right there, but it sure ain't now. Well, this seems to be all that's left. Whoever she was, she sure had the right information about us. Gypsies. This girl is probably one of the bandit camps in the valley. Were the bandits gypsies? I couldn't tell. They were all masked, but I'm sure some of them were Americans. And her warning was probably based on something she overheard. I'll get some of my men and we'll ride up to their camp and see if we can find her. But I must warn you before we go, gypsies are very peculiar people. They don't trust anybody but other gypsies, and sometimes not even them. If you do find Rosina, let me know. I will do the questioning. Search the camp.
one but a gypsy ever knows just where to find them. No one ever sees them come or go. It's a hidden rendezvous where cares are left behind them. Down the secret trail that only gypsies know. There beneath the stars You will hear their soft guitars Then while shadows play They will laugh and love and dance the night away No one but a gypsy ever knows just where to find them No one ever sees them come or go it's a hidden rendezvous where cares are left behind them down the secret trail that only gypsies know a la carte My men have assembled the entire camp. Do you see your fortune teller? No. Not even anyone who resembles her. Mm. It is an honor to have you visit us, Capitan. Oh. You still make your living catching wild horses? See, si, it has been our means of living for many years. Senor Rogers will pay a reward for the recovery of some thoroughbreds that were stolen from him. A big reward. There are no thoroughbreds in these hills. We will keep our eyes open. Fish him eat. Oh, no, no, Captain, this isn't the one. We have done nothing wrong. Let her go. There are other gypsy camps in these hills. We will search them all. Miss Stewart. Andenle a su trabajo, todos. I do not like this whole business. Before we were happy and peaceful. And now look. Rosina didn't like it either, and that's why she tried to warn Rogers. You double-cross me and you'll get the same thing. The captain said Senior Rogers will pay lots of money for those wild horses. Hello. only talk to gypsies. So the horses and gypsies in the camp are trailed on the end. I mean, the end of the gypsies' camps is trailed on the horses. I mean, I mean, the horses' ends are camped on the gypsies. Oh, and wait a minute, Pinky. I... What are you trying to say? Well, I heard him talking about wild horses. Wild horses? The hills are full of them. Yeah, but they said these horses are worth a lot of money. Wild horses are not worth a lot of money, Pinky. Well, it could be whoever stole our horses turned them in with the wild herd to hide them until things cooled off. The wild herd roams Green Valley. We can get there by daylight. Well, let's go. There they are. Hey, look at that big black. Boy, that's a thoroughbred. It sure is. It's Phantom Flyer. There's Thunder Baby and Hurricane Hal. Come on, let's pick them up. Well, that seems to be all of them. Wait a minute. There's one missing. Yeah, it's Miss Glory. A couple of you stay here and look after these horses. The rest of you spread out and cover the whole valley. <laughs> has to be the only one that's missing. 
Well, she could have run away with some of those Mustangs. Well, I hope not. She's not used to bad footing. Hey, somebody's found her. Wait a minute, Doris. You better stay here. Oh, gee, this is awful. She must have fallen and broken her leg, and then the mountain lions. I just can't believe it. How Dad used to love her. Sometimes it almost made me jealous. I don't know how you feel, Doris. But there's one thing I've got to ask you. Did you have her insured against accidents? Yes. Oh, gee, Miss Glory. I'm gonna miss you. And Trigger's gonna miss you, too. I like you a lot, and I know you like me, because why don't you even kiss me? I'm not gonna remember you like this. I'm gonna remember you how you used to be. Beautiful and straight and all shiny. You're going to be with me always, right here. Goodbye, Miss Glory. Say, Pinky, see that the other horses get to Caliente safely. I'm going to go back and have a talk with those gypsies. You better tell the captain where I'll be. Right, boy. I'm glad Dad didn't live to see the end of one of his greatest horses. <laughs> What are you doing? Breaking camp? We're going under the hills. Why? The Capitan and his men were here with Senior Rogers. They're suspicious. What about it? Miss Glory. But don't worry about it. They didn't see her. She's safe. <coughs> what a gal. You make us a million bucks. Just as soon as we get Miss Glory back over the border, we'll let Rogers know where he can find the rest of the horses. Then you can get the reward, Joseph. I'll go along to make sure he finds that horse of yours we drove over the cliff. We must make certain that everybody thinks Miss Glory is dead. Joseph, Rogers has come back. Hold him off till we get this horse out. What are you looking for? What do you know about those racehorses that were mixed up in that wild herd in the valley? Todos los carros fueron de aquí. Andenle. This is the registration number of that crippled mare mine that we killed. Easy does it. It won't hit you. Glory running under your dead horse's name, we ought to be able to win every big stake race in the country.
we found Miss Glory. She's dead. Where did you find her? In a place called Green Valley. She'd fallen and broken her leg, and then the mountain lions did the rest. What about the rest of the horses? Oh, they're all right. Roy's delivering them all to Monterey. Oh, that's great. He lets your horse get killed, and then he goes on about his business. Well, what should he have done? I told him the horse was insured against accidents, so he knew I didn't have to worry about the money. Oh, Doris, about that policy. What about it? You did have it changed, so she was covered on the trip to Mexico, didn't you? I put in a long-distance call to the agent, but he was out of town. But anyone in the office could have handled it. I know, but it was so important, I wanted to make sure that it was properly handled. But for some reason, the agent didn't call me back, and then, well, I forgot all about it. Dave. I'll check the policy, but I'm afraid it's no use. I know without the change in the extra premium, the policy only applies to the continental United States. I'm right. Don't you remember we always had to have the policy change whenever we shipped the horses to the Canadian tracks? This policy doesn't cover Mexico. Yes, I remember. But how did you forget it this time? I'm terribly sorry. It breaks me, Dave. It means the loss of their homes to all the people living here. And the end of all those old horses that Dad had pensioned. In short, I lose the ranch. Doris, just a minute. I'm not going to let you lose all this. It's my fault. I'm not rich, but I can scrape up enough money to pay all your debts. Oh, I can't let you do that, Dave. I might wind up losing your money, too. I'm not thinking of walking out on you. I know you can't make this place pay by yourself. Doris, you remember how much your father thought of me? And you must know how I feel about you. Dave, I, I've always thought of you as one of my family. I'm sorry. Yes, I know. A girl just doesn't marry one of the family. Rogers has gone on to Monterey. You go down and bring Miss Gloria across the border tomorrow. Well, then everything turned out just swell. The horse isn't in the United States yet. That may will be over the border by tomorrow. I have just received the last report. We've searched the entire countryside. Gypsies have a habit of disappearing, it seems, when they are in trouble. Well, I'm going to stick around. I've got a lot of unfinished business. A hold up, and somebody's going to pay for Willie's murder. I've got a hunch that sooner or later that gypsy girl will show up in town, and I want to be here when she does. Pat, Pinky and I are going to stay here. You take the horses on through. I'm giving them an escort to see that they get to Monterey safely. Thanks. awfully sad for that empty stall in the truck. Well, at least we're going to get the rest of the horses through. Well, what do we do now, Roy? Sit. Sit? We're going to keep a 24-hour watch on this gate. Sit? 24 hours? Well, I'll get myself a pillow. I thought Rogers went to Monterey. Yeah, I thought so, too. All right, come on down while we inspect the wagon. Well, that sure ain't Rosina. Come on, Roy, let's go back and sit some more. Sure. Hey, Pinky. What is it, Roy? That middle horse looks like a thoroughbred. A thoroughbred? Follow me with the horses. Hey, Roy, he kissed me. Ha! Look out! Roy? Huh? 
I don't know. I didn't get a good look at him. He's turning off the road. Yeah. This is as fast as we can go in this soft sand. Baby. Wonder whose horse that is, Miss Doris. I don't know. It looks like a thoroughbred. Let's see. That's one of Studley Denning's registration numbers. Miss Doris. Trigger. I thought Mr. Rogers had gone to Monterey. Yeah. Hello, Miss Stewart. Hello, Studley. I was breaking this dumb man. She got away from me. Come on, you! No, no, Stacy! Whoa, hey, boy. Whoa, baby. No, Stacy! Trigger! Whoa! Whoa, baby, get back there! Whoa! Whoa! I like the pleasure of breaking that horse. I break his back. Come on, you! Come on! Whoa, baby. Here you. You're in Monterey. Listen, Doris, I want to borrow a couple of your horses. Sure, but Trigger's here. He came in following one of Studsy's horses. You ought to get a horse spank from running away from Roy. Tell me about Studsy's horse. Well, she ran in here a few minutes ago, and then Studsy came in and claimed her. Did it have harness on? Yeah, how'd you know? And she ran right up here to Miss Glory's stall. Yes, she did. Miss Glory. Oh, no, Roy, you're wrong. This horse had a solid color face. I looked at the registration. It's Studsy Denning's horse. Well, I don't care who she's registered to. It all adds up. 
First the fortune teller in a fight at the gypsy camp. Then he tried to smuggle a lone thoroughbred across the line. Yeah, and Trigger following her. And Roy, there's only one girl in his life. Sounds like the old ringer game Dad used to tell about. We've got to have a closer look at Studsy's horse. Come on, tonight we'll slip over there. Pinky, cover the house. Okay. Alma, throw me a towel. <laughs> Tattooed a new number over the old one. Take this. Miss Glory. <laughs> Nothing. Well, if it is a die job, it's a good one. If she can keep up with Trigger in the race, what would that prove to you? Prove to me something's wrong. I know Studsy's stuck, and there's not a horse on his ranch you got to run Trigger. Let's get her out of here. Sure, they get 20 years at hard labor, and so do their assistants. Hey, hey, wait for me, will you? Come back here. Get ready, set, go! She's wide open, Roy. Come on, little brown horse. Ball. Come on, get up there. Come on, little lady horse. Come on. Come on, boy. Ah! Oh, boy. Roy, I know this is Miss Glory. You're right. Now we're going to try to make her look like her. Hey, Pinky. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Right into town and get some dye remover and some peroxide. Some dye remover and peroxide. Yeah. and call the sheriff. Okay, Roy. Cool. Oh. Hello, operator? This your operator? Listen, Oppie, give me information. What are you doing here? Oh, boy, where you hear this? Roy's got Miss Glory. She's right down her own stall. Some rancher by the name of Studgy pulled a hold up and Kill some phony horse. Yeah. Hello, information? Listen, Infy, I want the telephone number of the sheriff's office. <laughs> I'm... Oh, you won't have to use your gun. I'll take care of Studgy myself. Boy, I'll break them into pieces, then I'll break the little pieces and the big pieces, then I'll break the pieces into confetti. Hello? 465, thank you. Me too. As soon as the sheriff gets here, we'll go pick up Stubbsy. 
There won't be any sheriff, Rogers. Dave! Put your hands up, Rogers. You too, Doris. Stop them guns. Now, both of you, in the stall. Come on, get going. Hello, Studsy. Have you looked in your barn this morning? No, why? Because last night, Rogers stole the horse right out from under your nose. That blows the whole deal up in our faces. What are we gonna do now, Dave? Well, I've got Miss Glory again, and I'm taking her to the gypsy camp. You'd better meet me there unless you want to hang for Willie's murder. Travel across country. Don't go through Caliente. Glory. She's all we can salvage out of this deal. And you can't hit the trail with her. Studsy, she's got to be destroyed. Hold it, Dave. You can't do away with a million bucks. You got to get rid of the evidence. I'll hide out in the hills until the heat's off. Get the wagons moving. A las montañas con los carros, pronto.
All ready? Get set. Go! I must have been out of my mind to ever think of selling her. Studsy and Dave had her entered in the sweepstakes as a ringer. They must have been pretty sure she'd bring home the bacon. <laughs> Time like that, there isn't a horse in the country that can keep up with her. Listen, I'm going to the telegraph office and put her in that big race. She'll win, and you'll have plenty of money to carry on with. Don't you worry about her pulling up lame, either. She can really take it. <laughs> 